1892, Professor Richard Garner left for Africa in the hopes of researching gorillas. He ended up in the country of Gabon, near Lake Fern and Vaz, as this was thought to be the best place to encounter a large number of gorillas. This was not to be an ordinary expedition, however, as the professor had a very unique idea. Instead of trying to trap a gorilla in a cage for the hopes of studying it, he planned to position himself inside of a cage and live amongst the gorillas that he encountered. The cage was quite substantial, being constructed in eight different segments, each six feet, six inches in length. It was then wrapped in chains and steel wire, with a roof constructed of bamboo. The whole thing was then raised into the air, and suspended upon a foundation about three and a half feet off of the ground. The professor entered this cage on April 25th of 1893, and stayed in there until the following August 6th. He was quite dedicated to his research, and only left the cage for short intervals at a time, and was all by himself for the duration, except for his pet dog and chimpanzee companion named Moses, who had a separate hut outside the cage in which to live. All of this paid off well for the professor though, and he ended up being able to see and study a great number of gorillas from his location. Indeed, the gorillas would closely approach the cage, giving the professor the chance to study them in great detail. Invariably, they were probably just as curious of him as he was of them. In the course of his observations, the professor was highly interested in understanding how gorillas communicate and how they interact in terms of forming families. To that end, he was happy to have made progress on both fronts, learning about both the language they use to communicate and how they relate to each other within the society they create. Regarding communication, the professor was convinced that given his observations, the gorillas did in fact have a language that consisted of as many as 50 different words or utterances. Of course, future research no doubt expanded on this topic, but it is interesting to note what an early pioneer of the subject thought. As far as what he observed as to how the gorillas interacted with each other, he noted seeing groups of two or three females being paired to one male, yet he was of the opinion that they paired off into husband and wife. He also relayed a story he had some doubts about. He had been told about a sort of gorilla king and overall leader of several of these family groups that was being brought fruit from other male gorillas. The professor doubted the reality of that however, as gorillas were not known to like the fruit that was described. Moving on from that and looking at the expedition overall, the trip was highly successful, and the professor learned a lot about gorillas. It was not without sacrifice and difficulties though. Living in the jungle does have its risks, and the professor was often sick with fever during his trip. He seemingly took all of this in stride though and he returned with many new insights into the world of gorillas.